Hey guys, so I'm awake and I fed the animals this morning and now I am about to get ready for the day in my audition and to drop off Gwenny at the vet. I have to make a short really fast though, so let's do that. So guys, I'm on the way to the club. I'm really nervous. I'm gonna put on my makeup once I get there, which might be a risk, but whatever. I just got the bill back from Gwen's appointment. They rescheduled it to Monday because she's too crazy for them to like handle right now. Um, and it's like $300, so I have to work and I'm kind of late, so off we go. snacks and now we're off oh my god i'm so i'm actually tired i'm not even nervous i'm just tired so let's let's get on with the show so guys after getting the law with five minutes to spare before it's too late to audition at this particular club so well i just auditioned and I basically just walked in. I was like, hey. Hey. How y'all doing? Can I audition? And I called them over the phone and I think they said that like, I could just walk in and audition first. But the guy took my photo and then like he showed me the rest of the girls that are on his phone and like they're all basically doing like cartwheels in the picture and like stretching and like in their dance outfit and I'm just like I just feel like out of place every single time I do this I, it just doesn't make sense I'm trying and like I really want to dance but at the same time I feel like I've literally tried to work at a club probably like four times and I don't know what it is like I just can't like Like, I mean, one time actually, I was actually really close to to dancing, and I didn't because I don't know. It was really intimidating in there, though. Like, I did meet a really nice girl, a dancer. She was really nice to me. But other than that, it was actually really intimidating. Like the whole floor, the whole the stage is in the center and like everyone is surrounding it. And like, it's just you dancing. Like that's really intimidating. I don't know if this is for me. I literally don't know what to do. I keep trying and like a lot of places in San Diego, you need to have a license. I don't have a license. And like I lied on my resume because what am I gonna say like I went to college and the guy was joking he was like yeah I don't need to know your middle school uh, information and I was like oh. do some of these girls come here straight from middle school that really freaks me out um, so yeah there's one other place I can go to. But now I just feel, again, kind of like defeated a little bit. Like, damn. <laughs> I honestly did not like the vibes in there though. Like I wanted to leave immediately. I just didn't like how the stage was set up. I'm very particular about the stages. I feel like I just need to work from home. But how am I gonna do that? Like, how am I going to get my own apartment to work from home? Like, and he was like, there's like 1200 girls in front of you. And I was like, okay, I get the memo. <laughs> 
And like there are like Porsches and Bentleys in the parking lot. Mercedes. Cadillac. It's like about five. It's like I feel internally like I am a dancer. Because online, it's like online when I'm in control of my own environment and there's a camera, bestie, it's over. Like, cut it, like, dead. Like, it's that. But in person, it was so intimidating. Like, I actually don't think I could have actually auditioned. Like, to be completely honest, like, I don't think I could have done it. I just feel like I'm out of place all the time. To be honest, I always just feel like I'm out of place. I just feel like, what the fuck is going on? This is literally my life. This is literally it. Like, I'm just, like, winging it, and then I just kind of go into situations, and I'm like, oh. And then I'm like, oh, actually, I don't know why I'm here. And then it's like, Bessie, why are you here? And I'm like, Bessie, I don't know. You know? So, that was that. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do.